We continue now at the top of Daf Mem Hamad Aleph and Masechus Baba Kama. This is Baba Kama Daf 45a. The Gemara continues the Bryce. If you have a situation of a shore that kills, and before the verdict, the person goes ahead and sells the shore, Machar, it's considered sold. Rashi says, Machar Hula Radia, it's considered sold in terms of plowing. And Hikdisho, let's say the person made it Hektish, Muktash, it's considered to be Hektish. Rashi says, Hikdisho, Muktash, Venafka Mina, the difference is, the Imis Hani Mine Mal. If he tries to get benefit, personal benefit from it, that's going to be considered Meila. And Shachtu, and let's say he shechts it again before the verdict, besaro mutter, then the meat of the animal is going to be mutter. Hechziru shomer lebeis ba'al of muchser. Let's say a shomer returns it to the house of the owner, it's considered to be returned. Rashi says, muchser v'yafal gav the shakli le beidina. Now, even though the bezin is taking it, have a shomer putter, the shomer is going to be putter. The hakish hechziru shor ma'aliyu. The point is that the shomer, he did return it as a full shor, so he did his job in terms of returning it, even though the bezin will take it because of the fact that it killed, it's still considered that he returned the animal. But the Brisa continues, Mishinigmar Dino. Now, let's say there already was a verdict that this shore is in fact Chayev Misa at this point in time. So then, Machro, Eino Machro, if he sells it, it's not considered sold. Hikdisho, Eino Muktash, if he makes it Hektish, it's not considered Hektish. Shachtu, Besaro Azur, Vishachtu, at this point in time, the meat is Azur. And Echziro, Shomer, the base ball of if a Shomer at this point in time tries to return it to the owner, Eino Muktash, that's not considered that he has returned the animal. And Rashi says, "Ain't no muktish. It's not. It's not going to be hektish." The labi rishu say demari koy like At this point in time, it's no longer in the rishus. It's not in the possession of the owner, so he's not able to make it hektish. And the brisa continues. Rabbi Yaakov Omer. Rabbi Yaakov says, "Af mishanig mardino." Even after there is a verdict, hechziro shomer lebaal of muxer. If the shomer returns it to the owner, that is considered that the shomer returned it properly. And the Gemara says, "Lema b'hakamiflugi." Let us say that they are arguing about the following. The rabbonon savri. The rabbonon hold in omer. Be sure hana harishal cholifonecha that you can't say by something that's usher bahana harishal cholifonecha this is yours I'm returning it to you that's not called returning. Rabbi Yaakov saw Rabbi Yaakov holds Omrin be sure hana harishal cholifonecha that we do say by sure hana harishal cholifonecha and Rashi explains ain Omrin be sure hana harishal cholifonecha v'nafkamina the nafkamina of this would be legozal chametz v'yavar lava pesach let's say somebody steals chametz and pesach passes it's usher bahana v'achziru and then that. Person Person tries to return it, ain't no muxer. So if you're saying you're not allowed to say Rachel Chalafanecha, that would not be considered as if he returned it. And the Gemara continues. Amar Rabba Rabba says the Kuli Alma could be that everybody agrees. Omrin bi sure hano harishal chalafanecha that we do say by sure hano we do say harishal chalafanecha. The imkain because otherwise, as Rashi says, the imkain the rabbanon ain't omrin. If you're going to say according to the rabbanon that we don't say harishal chalafanecha, if that were the case, niflo glinyan chametz be pesach, they might as well argue when it comes to chametz and pesach. But they don't argue by chametz by, pes- by pesach. El hacha, but rather over here begomrin dino shel shor shelo befan of kamiflagi. The machlokus actually is: Can we have a gemardin on the shore not in? Front of the person, the rabbanon savri, the rabbanon hold in gomrin dino shel shor ela befanov. You're not allowed to have the gemar din of the shore except in front of him. The yomar le because he says to me a hadarte nihile because if you would have returned it to me, have a marikna le liagma, I would have run it off to the swamp. I would have hidden the animal. Hashda, but now at faste letoroi biyad biyad the lo yechilna leshtu yedina b'hadei. Now the axe ends up in the possession of the bezin, and I can't. I can't negotiate with the bezin at all. Rabbi Yaakov suffer, but Rabbi Yaakov says, Gomrin dino shel shor shel of you are allowed to have the gemar din of the shore not in front of him. The Yomar lay, because he says to him, sof sof, migmar have a gamri lay, ladina. Ultimately, that verdict would have been issued in any case. And Rashi explains, Liflagu Rabbanon Bechametz Pesach. The Rabbanon should have argued by Chametz and Pesach as well. The lame were the Chayev, and they should say that the person is Chayev. They should say it's not considered returned. The Anon Kaimelam, but we've established not like that. Bagoza Leitzim to the Rabbanon Omer Lo Harishal Chalafanecha. That according to the Rabbanon, when it comes to Chametz and Pesach, you are able to say in the in the situation of Gezeila Harishal Chalafanecha to Katani Gazal Chametz Vavar Lava Pesach Vechzir, because it says that if a person stole Chametz and Pesach passed and he returned it, the Chain Shor Ad Shelo Nigmar Dino, and also a Shor before. The verdict. Omrin lo harishal chalafanecha. The guy is allowed to say harishal chalafanecha. It is considered returned. Avol mishen nigmar lo. It's only after the verdict that the rabbanon disagree, and it must be for some other reason. Vasvar the rabbanon who dishmiel who, and this is again according to the rabbanon. The katani de vechametz be pesach mode. We see clearly they admit by chametz on pesach. The amrin on bisurei hana harishal chalafanecha. That we do say that they do say by bisurei hana harishal chalafanecha. Ela dekuli alma amrin on bisurei hana harishal chalafanecha. Rather, according to everybody by bisurei hana, you could say. 
Kedarish al Khalafanacha, Hecha di Sura Mimela Asale. But that's true if the Isr comes Mimela on its own. Kagon Chametz Pesach, Chametz on Pesach, just Pesach coming creates that Isr. Velo Matsu Yamar le Hai Lav Midu. You can't say that you're not giving me anything. Avalacha, but over here, Misham Hachi Ami Rabbon and Eno Mokhsa. The reason why the Rabbon and say, in a situation of this shore where there's a verdict, that it's not considered to be Mokhsa, it's not returned, the Yamar le at Fasti le Toroi, Vezeka de Viodayimu, Shehivu le Beidina. The person can say, meaning the owner can say to the Shomer, actually you've actively damaged me by bringing this shore to the Bezdin, you doing that action of bringing it to the Bezdin, you've now given it over to the Bezdin and that is an entity that I'm not, not able to negotiate with. And the reason why he's saying, had you returned it, it's not because he didn't return it that there's a Chiv. That claim could be by Pesach also. If you would have returned it to me before Pesach, so I would have eaten it myself. And even according to Rabbi Yaakov, granted that you can have a Gemar Din not in front of the owner, but then he could say, look, if you would have returned it to me, then I would have shechted it. It's not that the Rabbanon are saying the person is chayv because of the fact that he didn't return it earlier, because the Rabbanon would say, no, he's returning it now. That's not the issue. We do say by Surah Hanoah, but what's the issue over here according to the Rabbanon? The issue is, the reason why the Shomer is chayv over here, because he actively brought it to Bezdin. And the owner is now saying to the Shomer, you shouldn't have brought it to Bezin. Do you have a biyad? Because if I was the one that had possession, I would have run it away from the Bezin. I would have hidden it from the Bezin. And the Gemara then says, but Rabbi Yaakov responds, sof, sof, migmar have a gamri At the end of the day, this would have been the verdict. Anyway, therefore this is considered to be a hezek that happens in Mela. It's not something that is active. And the Gemara continues, My time with the Rabbanon, what's the reason of the Rabbanon that the Rabbanon hold in order to have a verdict on the shore? The shore has to be present in the Bezdin. Again, the entire claim of the owner is that if he would have had the shore, he would have hidden it from the Bezdin. You need to have the shore present in Bezdin for there to be a verdict. And the Gemara says the, sh- the source, according to the Rabbanon, comes from the Pasuk, Hashor Yisak El Vagam Baal of Yumas. Again, the Pasuk says that the shore is stoned and the owner also dies. Again, the owner doesn't actually die, but the owner pays kofer. But we make a comparison, Kemisa Sabaylam Kach in the same way we would execute the owner, let's say in a capital case, that applies to the shore as well. Just like the bailam has to be in front of them, they have to be present, so too the shore has to be present. And again, that's why according to the Rabbonin, the owner has this claim against the Shomer. But Rabbi Yaakov, but Rabbi Yaakov responds to that, I understand the owners, they have to be present because they're able to forward a claim on their own behalf. But when it comes to an ax, do you think a shore is able to forward a claim on its own behalf? behalf, of course not. That's why the shore does not have to be present. And Rashi says, Ma mishpat. Like it says, he has to be in front of the court. The owner, the person has to be present. The defendant has to be present in the court. And the Gemara continues at the two dots. Again, the Mishnah said that once the owner gives it over to a Shomer, the Shomer now stands in the place of the owner and he's responsible for any damage that the shore does. And the Gemara says, Tanu Rabban and the rabbis taught, There are four who end up substituting for the owner. They take the place of the owner. The Elohein and they are as follows. Shomrachinam v'ashoel, nosei socher v'hasocher. The Shomrachinam, the one who watches for free. The Shoel, the borrower, the nosei socher, the one who watches and takes payment. And hasocher, the renter. Hargu tamen, tamen neheragin. If the animal kills while it's a tam, the animal is killed. Upeturim and akofer and potter from kofer in that case. Muadin, if the animal kills when it's a muad, neheragin, the animal is killed. Umeshalmen es akofer, and then they do pay kofer. The chayyovin lahachzer, to make sure and they have to return the value of the shore to the original owner. They still owe that to the original owner. Chutz mi shomer chinam, with the exception of a shomer chinam. And the Gemara continues, Amri, they say, Hey, dummy, well, what exactly is the case that we're saying they're all chayiv to the owner except for the Shomer Chinam? Idenatri, if the animal was watched properly, Afilu Kulu Nami Lifteru. So then in all the cases of the Shomer, they should all be Potter. Vidalo Natri, and if it wasn't watched properly, Afilu Shomer Chinam the chayiv, then even the Shomer Chinam should be chayiv. 
And the Gemara says, Amri, the answer as follows, Hachamai Askin, and here the case is, the Natre Shmira Pechusa, that it was watched, but it was guarded in a way that wasn't the best way of guarding it. Velo Natre Shmira Meula, it wasn't a Shmira Meula, it wasn't the ideal way of guarding it. Shomer Chinam calls the Lo in terms of a Shomer Chinam, the Shomer Chinam has done enough, he's not getting paid, he doesn't have to watch it at the same level, but Hanach, but the other Shomerim Lo calls the Shmira they didn't do the Shmira that is required of them. And the Gemara continues, Amri, they said as follows, Keman, who is this? following. Ike Rebbe Meir, if it's following Rebbe Meir, and Rashi explains, Shmira Pechus, an inferior kind of watching, Delas Sheyechol Alamud Baruch Matsui, that means that there's a door that's closed and a common wind that can withstand, but if there's an uncommon wind, the door will open, that's a Shmira Pechusa, Kol Soleh Shmira so that's sufficient for a Shomer Chinam, Deino Lov Lehizchazik B'Shmira So V'day B'Kach, that's enough for him, V'lab Shihi, that's not considered negligence, Hilgach L'Gabe Bailem, Potter Mid Meishor, so he's Potter in terms of paying for the shore, to the Bailem, Da because it's enough to have a Shmir Pechus, however, Uboi Kapara, however, however Kapara is still required, and therefore, therefore Kofer does need to be paid. The Hani lo calls a Shmirasim, but when it comes to the other Shomrim, they haven't even done a sufficient Shmira. Shechayavano yul is Chazik b'Shmirasim, she'ei Shomer l'Bailov. They need to do a better kind of Shmira. Upshia he midi dehave a Gneva v'Yaveid. It's similar to Gneva v'Yaveid, which these Shomrim are responsible for if the item is stolen or lost. Come on, and then the Gemara said, "Who does it follow?" Ikar Rabbi Meir. If we're following Rabbi Meir, do Amar b'Mas Nisin. Rabbi Meir says in the Mishnah, "Muad lo sagi le b'Shmir Pechusa." That by a muad, it's not enough to do a Shmir Pechusa. Umishamachin ami katan. And Kofer, and that's why one has to pay Kofer when we're talking about a mood, and we will continue with this discussion in the next video on Daf Mem Hey Amid Bays.